Um, welcome, welcome to what is going to be the final episode of the Red Boys. Preferably, uh, done blind. Assuming the fact that, you know, I haven't been spoiled. If you'll excuse me, I gotta do one final thing, which I wanted to do this on stream, so that way people could see what I'm doing, which is force-feeding her speed carrots, because I forgot to do this in advance, and I just said, ah, screw it, she needs speed, so here's a bunch of speed! I keep hitting the store button! There we go, mission accomplished. So, I've done all the boring stuff, I refreshed my battalions, I got my inventory all set out, with one exception, which is you guys, so here are your random bits of garbage. Merry Christmas. Oh, actually, there's two of these. There we go. So this is our final gear. Training sword, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go through them. Oh, it'll actually be fast to go through like this. So this is all... I've, I've reforged them if I could. I've repaired as much as I could. I sold a bunch of stuff to make some extra money. But this is what we're going into this final chapter with. And, luckily on top of that, we're actually able to use all of our characters, because the character limit is actually 12 this time, which is very nice. Unfortunately, some of the stuff I wasn't able to afford simply just because I didn't have the stuff for it, or I didn't have enough money, but the main problem, because I could have sold stuff for money, was that I didn't have enough of the reforging materials, so that's... It's a little bit of a Debbie Downer, isn't it? So, let's actually look at the map. So like I said before, this is probably going to be a bum rush the right side of the map. Fuck whatever's in this treasure chest, that's not important, we're not about that life. It probably is actually really nice, but I just, uh... I just have a very, uh, very heavy case of the... I don't really care all that much. And assuming that, um... This map is exactly how Hegemon Edelgard went. This is going to be a bad idea, what I'm about to do. But we're going to, as hard as we possibly can, bum rush the right side of the map. Because, you can see, this is just a big wall. And the only way through is right here, which is breakable. Or right here, where I'm trying to press through. So if I funnel all of my dudes through this one tile and just force myself straight forward... Hey man! The boss is right here! Oh, sure, I'll pretty much be surrounded all sides, but that's not important. We just gotta kill the boss and we win. Yeah, that, that, is, that is the victory condition, right? Uh, killing the final boss? How do I see that? Where's the condition? There it is! Defeat enemy commander! Yes! So, I'm gonna need fast people over here, which is going to be a bit of a waste, but we will probably use... What's it called? Uh, stride, right at the beginning. So, like, put him here, stride these boys, Yuritsu would be left behind, so let's put Ferdinand down there, because he can move really far. It's like you stride Byleth, everybody over there, Dorothy can dance Linhart to get him caught up, or Linhart can just fucking walk. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with him, maybe this is a bad idea! Here, you know, we'll put the horse dudes over there. Are these... These are, these are traversable by horse dudes? Yes, they are. Don't you still have the march ring? That he does, so yes, that's fine. Violet, Edelgard, and Dorothy are going to be a little bit left behind, and then the rest of these dudes are going to press on forward. There will be a lot of fire damage we're going to be taking, which will be very fun and interactive, but what can you do? Anyway, here we go! Fuck actually thinking about it more, we're going! It's so awful to see the kingdom capital go up in flames, but at least we made it this far. We finally stand before the palace. These flames will kill our friends and foes alike. Those who stand in our way will perish with the flames. Immaculate One, your reign ends here and now. With fire raging all over the city, our enemies won't be able to advance <laughs> in large numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of you to assume. To defeat us with small squads of elite warriors. Indeed, I suspect as much. And at their head is the one who stole my mother from me, and likely that mutinous whelp, Edelgard. This is gonna be very cathartic. The whole city's burning! Oh, this isn't good. Unflammable, you know? If possible, 
We must be avoiding the flame and be careful of strong enemies. I don't have a fortify user we on this team, I just forces. realized. We will need to be flexible in our approach. Flexible, you say? I'm gonna not do that. I'll cut a bloody path. Isn't he like immune? Okay, actually, I need to look at something. Who has territory immunity? I doubt many. The flyer does. I believe it's just yeah, just Violet. Violet and Ferdinand can stand on the fire and not Ready take damage. Very important. So storing them on the fire saves space for my other units to aggress. And you know, Empire. not stand on fire. And of course that's not gonna that's be universally applicable, but it is something to keep in Understood. mind. lightning on it. Yeah. When's he ever- when else is he ever gonna- you know what? It's so fitting for- it's the final map. We'll turn the animations back on. Speed be damned. I got three hours. I doubt this is gonna take that long. Unless I have to full hog restart the map because my- corn's not playing Pokemon Shield. I doubt that this map is gonna take so long that I would have to- and then I would fuck up so monumentally I'd have to blanket restart the entire thing. It seems a touch egregious, you know? And just generally unplausible. Let me just see how the enemies decide to aggress through this, but... This is all just fire. This entire area is just fire. A bunch of armored dudes, as well as a mage. You know what? We're allowed to go a little bit apeshit. <laughs> sure hope you can one-hit her. This is a really bad idea, I'm gonna be frank. This is a really fucking bad idea. But, <laughs> we're starting off with some fun. Nope, can't kill her. We've won. Put me in there. <clears throat> I will prevail. I do this for all of us. Let's shake things up. they hit Petra, her evasion is so astronomically high it won't matter anyway. But in the meantime, let me equip her with her Armor Slayer, just because, you no, know, those are armored units. Might as well. Not to mention, it helps draw out the other armored unit who we're not currently attacking, letting us aggress even harder if another enemy will be down or at least injured. I trust Petra. She's been good to me. Yeah, 34% chance for 30 damage is totally acceptable. I'll cut through. How many HP bars does this thing have? Oh, still a fair chunk of change, huh? Oh, we're working on it. It's just gonna take a little bit. I'm allowed to go ape shit again with my really big good item, so... Hey, if I really need to bust out the Brave Bow, I will if I need to. Preferably I'd like to not to in this case, but uh, I don't really have a much better option. My Silver Bow is one damage short and... And then his crest activated, so it would've killed. Yep. <laughs> Don't fuck with that. Each battle a victory. Oh man, you guys are gonna kill Lysithia. 
<laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I will not die yet. And they do not hold those stabs right. That is just so awkward looking. They like don't have an animation for it. Even that, even though I'm not gonna heal very much off it, it's still six HP. And it's like a mage. That's okay damage. Hubert right on the fire, but it helps Lindhart get ahead. Lindhart is going to have a very big problem keeping up anyway, so I might as well. <laughs> I'm just pushing him around, I'm bullying him, but I am. Both of those actually did get him a full tile closer each time. One of them got both him and Hubert a tile closer, and that shove got him a tile closer. Just generally good stuff happens there. Really just gotta do basic bitch-ass heals just to keep him topped off through the fire. Actually, I need to look through this. Did there are there any bolting mages? Because I do, I, unironically, part of the reason I want to do this is I don't want to kill Ash. <laughs> he's just one of my favorites. <laughs> he's a good boy, and he doesn't deserve this. If there's at least one I want to save, I gotta save someone. I'm not stuck strictly to my doctor, and if I refuse. Or I've struck, stuck strictly to Edelgard's proposed doctrine of I only give a damn about the fucking church. So I'm actively trying not to kill people who aren't directly involved. There's also a very good chance for me to utilize Lysithia's just genuine bullshit. Normally I try to actually have Lysithia not fight people You've because I'm no using her as a healer, you know? Give other people a chance to get the combat XP. You she can heal, get the healing XP. That's more XP generation. This is the final map. I can now use her as a bomb that I can just drop on a man at a moment's notice. Hope you're ready. <laughs> Who's next? Get in line. So reliable. No, I'll even put her on the heel tone. That'll give her some nice, nice regeneration. Draw him close, at least a little bit closer. Petra's all nice and healed up from the fire damage. Open your hearts and accept your fate. The Immaculate War saves only the righteous. What? Her howl was unadulterated magic. I didn't know such a display of power was possible. Roar seems to have affected the doll's movements. Whenever the Immaculate One howls, those dolls become stronger. Fantastic. Luckily, there's, I think, one more I actually have to deal with, just generally. Okay, maybe two more, but that second one. Okay, what what buff did they get? Does it, does it tell me, or... It just, it has an up arrow, but... Strength, no. 
Is, it, is there no way to tell me what the buff they're under effect is? Maybe down here? Magic reinforced, dex reinforced. Okay, so... I, this is what I'm assuming. So they got two magic, five dex, and two defense, maybe? Not really sure, but... Either way, it, it maybe hit two. That probably is affected by dex, but you know. So that would be defense, dex, and magic. So they do more damage, they take less damage, and they're more accurate. So, really just bad stuff all around. It's a small buff, but it's all of them. So, you know, that'll add up very quickly. Another reason why dancers are still fucking broken. Get off the horse for a sec. Also, get off the horse for a sec. Oh, this is really weird to see. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's so weird. He's standing around and he's in the magic pose. That's so weird. Actually, now think about it. It's pretty, pretty funny that the first line of aggression I was able to get out there were mainly people who could walk through the fire with no movement penalty. I did have stride, obviously, but I'm just saying, like, in general. <laughs> just heal as we go along, as we can. Swap is probably one of the worst ones. Shove is one movement, drawback is two movement, but awkward. Reposition is also two movement and the fucking best. But swap is very, <laughs> very meh. I can't heal Casper. I don't. I do not want to waste my physic uses. Oh no, no, siree, We do not want that. Let's turn the tables. I'm not even doing this for like the loot. I'm doing it just because it's just generally more efficient to kill them with. To the very end. And, like, he can't counterattack because his thing's broken, so Caspar's not even in any danger. Work. Or it could miss! Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, well, yeah, she doesn't have a gambit. Well, even then, even still, and through it all, it doesn't actually matter, because Lysithia hit her, so it's aggroed on her anyway. <laughs> so who gives a damn, you know? Uh, of course you can't kill. Uh, hope for the crit. Damn it. I just didn't want him to get a chance to counterattack. Because again, we don't have a fortify user, so any damage we do take is nearly permanent. Or at least, it, it, it takes quite a bit longer, and I mean quite a bit longer to fix it up, you know? This dude can just counterattack fucking anywhere, can't he? <sighs> it's also a primo example of why I have Bernadetta built this way. Just an unbelievable amount of accuracy. Accuracy, plus 20 ring, like, bow provision. I was using the dex plus 4. That, it's just obscene amount of accuracy. 100% accuracy from 4 tiles away. Fantastic. Now you fuck up that Lysithia. Hey, I got it. <laughs> the first time in the entire game I ever get Hubert to cast heal is in the final map of the game. <laughs> um, it 
seems just just a little bit fitting, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't get a break his shit, but I did get to do just an obscene amount of damage. It was meant to be. Draw them both in. Ready, stance! That's right, he is healing focus! He's fine! I can just put him right here and he can heal himself! Dude, healing focus is so good! I'm just gonna use a damn physic. You know? Cause I'm just sitting here like, man, I can have Lysithia heal Petra, but I can't get Lysithia in there without her taking more damage. Just heal Lysithia, then she can Nosferatu up next turn. It's fine! Just heal Petra! I will prevail. Let's get her the hell out of here for right now. I do this for all of us. Holy shit. Unnecessary, but also fun. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun to deal with. Luckily, it's not actually as big of a deal as it would initially seem, just because I actually have all of my backline dudes fresh and ready for combat. They haven't seen a lick yet. Oh, fuck, they're coming, okay. Mount up. I can do more. Mount up. I suppose this will serve you well. And of course, there it is. A little late to the party, don't you think? deal with Catherine. Thunderbrand being absolutely ridiculous as always. Strikes twice of initiating combat, so it's a brave weapon. Forcibly. All drawing strike. Thunderbrand only. Effective against armored and dragons. Oh, well. Wow. Real relevant. How am I gonna pop you? Okay, what does she have? I would assume counterattack, but no, it doesn't actually seem like it. Death blow, sword of void, sword prowess. So she's just decked out for attacking first. Because she has Death Blow, and her sword is a brave weapon. Effectively. So she gets Death Blow procced twice. Insane damage. Do not let her initiate combat. You will just die. Good to know. Okay. This accuracy's not looking good, but... I will pour everything into this battle. My body, my soul. Thunderbrand rumbles, urging me on. I am the goddess's servant. You will taste my blade! I don't want to do this! <laughs> Lady Rhea, my service ends here. It's been an honor. 
God, imagine this from their perspective. My army has been nigh unstoppable. Catherine, wielding a hero's relic, just got one hit. Never even got a chance to seek active combat. Showed up, just got to the front line, and was gunned down instantly. Ooh! Yes! Now that's real sad. Put me in there. Whoa, 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 what the hell's hitting me? Is there a bolting, dude? Do you got bolting? Yes. So there's a bolting guy, okay. Caspar's really bad at armored dudes. Fucking course he is. Can you handle this? Oh yeah, no he totally can. You can use the uh, Axe of Zoltan, which is good against armored dudes, and just pop them. Ferdinand and Lysithia are currently my two big boy powerhouses. I will see this they are here to solve the very uh, various problems that we will have when attempting to fight the final map. How bad of an idea is this? Uh, Accuracy is low, does minimal and uh, negligible damage, and it only has four uses. I can actually waste out all of his bolting uses if I needed to do that. I don't believe I will, but if, you know. Please kill this one. Then the mage will get at him. Fuck. He'd have to stand here to get him. This just doesn't work. I'm gonna have to have Caspar heal himself, and that's it. Caspar is kind of just in this one safe island in this entire sea of fire. Eh, she is an armor slayer. She's fine. You are in my way. I fight for justice's name. No matter what, I will not misplace my heart. You got a strength speed level up, lady. You've been needing some strength. That's definitely not bad. I'm stronger than before. Actually, I will use Swamp, because Bernadetta's on a horse, she'll have a harder time. Still have Warp if need be. Three uses. Oh, and they're moving in. Okay. Luckily, Bolting has always been a meh thing, but... Here's something to keep in mind. They are coming close. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up. Let me see here. What is that actually buff this time? Or is it the same buff, just applied again? It is the same buff applied again, so it's another 5 dex, 5, 2 mag, and 2 def. Okay. So they've added 40% extra defense, which is very annoying. Pretty much everywhere can now get bolted. They're gonna hit Bernadetta, not lethal. I think this is still doable. Can I move here and no, okay, nothing bad will happen if I move him here. Because I need to get rid of this dude in advance, you know? There you go. If I live, I fight. Don't even give him a chance to become a factor in this equation. Gun him down with impunity in advance. All fine. 
I'll cut a bloody path. The bat Honestly, my horse dudes I, or they are having a real bad time. I'm just gonna have to full hog take them off of their horses for the whole time. You know? Heal, move up, heal, move up, heal, move up, etc., etc., etc. You can also tell just immediately how much shorter this route is compared to the others, because I have not gotten the chance to get anyone at all, period, to S+, plus, you know? Just uh, uh, j in general. Oh, and then there's fucking stairs, really? This dude could also aggro, but that is fire in his way, actually. He'll have a hard time getting to me. But for now, that's fine. Battle does have its What's up with these final maps having the right side be the weakest link of the map? At least when I went back through and I did the Hegemon Edelgard and another playthrough, because of course I've done multiple, I actually did uh, tackle the, a large chunk of the middle as well. But that's more so just because every single enemy aggros on you all at the same time, and there's endless reinforcements coming from the middle. It only makes sense, but even still, I did bum rush the right side of the map. Bolting round two. <laughs> Fantastic job. Really, really striving for success there, ain't you? Okay, they're, st they're starting to get in the range. One hit Hubert if they get a chance at him, so let me heal up Lindhart. Is that range? They're gonna go for Violet and Bernadetta. Do not let Bernadetta be in range, okay. What is up with those dolls? I do not think we've gotten like a proper lore explaining the explanation for what the fuck are they? You know? This is the cost of war. God, why are ridiculous? Another... Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is not okay. Woo! 57, 57. Actually, two hits of 20 don't kill Byla. Yeah, he's fine. They're supposedly going to be going for Yuritsa, but only one of them can reach Yuritsa. Can't they? Or do they have a ranged attack? No? With Byla standing right there, only one of them could ever actually reach Yuritsa. Here, let me put... Damn Crescent... Hey, yeah, we'll have another the Killer Lance right now. He's not a mage now, so maybe they'll actually be able to you know, be idiots and decide to throw themselves against the wall that is Yuritsa. Oh, they're just not, they're just not even gonna attack him, never mind. a little bit closer. It's gonna be another slower turn. Gotta let him get a little bit closer. Okay, he's 
Cast on each turn. You read Sith Patrick, Cast Bar, Lenhart. Okay. This becomes an iron sword, really? Even after all this time, you're not gonna give me anything cooler? Come on. That's totally not cool. That's not cash money at all. So yeah, one and your eats a one battle. I have to leave Yuritsa right there so the other one will actually come in. Okay. That's our big scary Luca. He's been buffed twice. Oh shit, picking up the Silver Sword actually slowed Bob down to let them double him. That could have gotten me killed. Didn't even think about that. Hm. Well, what can you do? Guess that extra point of two defenses I gave him just before the start of this one was actually relevant enough. Isn't that fun? Exploit their weak spots. God damn it! Ferdinand! Where's our next two fucking flying fuckers? Frenzied flying fuckers. Why, why do I do no damage? What the fuck? What do you have that... No, just... I just don't hit this one as, as good. Why do I not hit this one as good? Like, at all. I mean, fuck it, because it's the final round I'm allowed to use my big boy stuff, but I'm just saying, weird. Delight. Truly impressive. I may not survive. Eh, you're a big boy, Bile. He'll get over it. I think we're just about finally fully past the fiery furnace of fucking fudge balls. Bullshit. <laughs> Fiery furnace of fucking balls. It's <laughs> trying to come up with another F word, but I'm like, the, well, the alliteration's ruined now. They're about to murder Lindhart. That is uh, not a good time. Categorically, a bad time. Fun fact. Okay, who needs to go? Felix Caspar. Okay. Felix can't reach, so bring Felix closer. I can't. Petra's in the way. Put Petra right here, then. Hell, she can even... Oh, that's a bad idea. At least for right now. So we'll put Petra right here, fine. And then Felix goes right here. I don't think he can still reach, but... We'll have to see. No, he cannot. So oh, screw it. I'm so tired of this thing If it asking me to attack that thing, so I'm just gonna break it. I'll have to leave Casper right here, so that way it pulls him closer. Get Data right here.
Just chip them out, you know. Right now it's all I have. I do not have my army in position to be able to full hog aggress. And then Lindhart is all that's left. Need to heal up Yuritsa and Byleth or whoever what's up who's the what's it? Yeah, I need to heal up Yuritsa. Lest he die. I just realized that thing can crit, and that's a bad time. Buff number three. That's an extra 60% to its defense. Ferdinand, I'm gonna have to ask you to take care of this guy. He's being a massive chode. Hope you don't miss! Thank you! I will see this war through. Greatness awaits me. Actually, I can put him right here because I do need to bait that other Pegasi close. <clears throat> it's gonna aggress on me anyway at some point, so let's just get it done with rip the bandage off in advance so I can plan around it later of not having the healing scab of a wound underneath that bandage. Hey guys, Edelgard finally caught up! There she is! Oh, what a legend. That's one. What's my strategy? I want him to at least just have a chance. That's two! Not my goal, but a means to an end. Nice. An extra point of his defense is very nice. And then he crits. Where's my weapon? It's always Felix in this route too. Like consistently Felix. Okay, I need to hit him from that range so he can't counterattack. There you go. Hopefully that will have changed the RNG, but I'm not sure. What's my strategy? Can I one hit him or something? I just do a big dick, one smack, 53 damage, hard, heavy draw, no! One damage short! Fuck! There's a time when rallies are really nice, but... Caspar, can you just do 53 fucking damage? No, not looking like it. It's a bad time. I live. Unironically, I'm thinking your sword, yup, might be our only hope, and that it is. Allow me to demonstrate. And it's even a crit. Just throw out. Every single time I use this sword, it comes out as a crit, and I don't know why. Is that, is that a hidden feature? Is that, like, intentional? Is this supposed to be the, the uh, insta-kill bind you put in the console? Display. So I'm 
something uh, something about the validity of all these things I'm doing makes me draw the, have that make draws this heavily into question. Oh, there's more fucking fire. Also, gonna need to do that. Also, there's fucking Cyril, and he has a brave axe. Is there anyone capable of... All right, wait a minute. Grand Squad is going to come two more spaces away. This probably is actually good. I could warp in. I'm thinking... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to, be able to kill the Immaculate One in one turn. But I could kill Cyro in one turn. You know? These fucking Pegasi are also going to need to die at some point. Probably. Understood. We can have Bernadetta do that and just chip away at him over time. You know? Get you up there because you're on a horse. Stairs are bad for you. Let's do this right. Because you can see they're coming. Okay. It's actually perfect. That's what I wanted. Ready for anything. I'm totally out. I'm totally down with Ferdinand starting to engage in airborne dog fights. It really works. Okay, don't this is the cost of war. Problem is, he's a, is that he is an axe user, and their accuracy call, you know, that can really be called into question. More fighting. Uh, don't miss. Hey, here you go. That much closer. Oh, this is just really bad range because of the fire. I have an idea. It's gonna take till next turn. It's gonna have to be done next turn, but I can plan in advance. Let's make this quick. Trying to think, like I would warp someone in, you know, to just pop Cyril, and then I can also have a backup warp in with Lindhart. Not healing Dorothea, but that's that's fine. For the Empire. Where is Linhart? Lysithia, put him right here, so that way it's an insta-warp. For next turn, how far can you move? Four, five. So I can't actually move over here. Alright. Don't shove him anymore, it's a little too, a little too far there, buddy. Like, whoa there, buddy. Here, let's see how bad this would be. How much damage do we do and take? Lower, com comparatively lowered accuracy. Then I can just gambit her to break some of her shields. Who, who has a gambit still up? Byleth, Dorothea, Yuritsa, Edelgard twice, Lysithia for one more. I have, a, I have a stride in the back pocket. Hubert uh, and Ferdinand, but it is comparatively weak. You know what? Let's top Dorothy off. Let's be frank here. I, I've been kind of been shrugging it off. She needs to be healed. Really shouldn't be called into question. She needs to be healthy. Alright, let's pull aggro of the other flyer. Bust out the silver gauntlets. Oh, 
that does no damage. There's the other flyer. Might need to wait one more turn, you know? Just so I can deal with these two other flyers, because my archers need to do that. That's just kind of their job. Can my Scythia get there? Maybe not in that turn, but next turn, yes. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to need a warp. I can almost just run there after the, at this point, you know? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Ah, oh, god damn it. Don't miss! Yes! Still here. Only the strong survive. Can't pull back yet. Still need healing. Aside from the obvious? No, not really. Fuck that fence! Yeah. Uh, Violet can easily stand on the fire shit. It's no damage to him. And then I can actually have Lindhart stride next turn to just get us the fuck in there, you know? Alright. Here's the really risky turn. Here we go. Let's go win the game, shall we? It's not what I want anymore. It's you. Don't stand there or else he'll aggro. Or he might even aggro anyway, but even if he does, it's not as big of a deal comparatively. First, let's see if Bernadetta can just do it solo. How much are you about to take? 30 times 56, not bad. Wrong person. Thank you. Uh, yes, but at really low accuracies. Like, a 46 times 2 and both have to hit? I'm not liking those odds. But, they're what we got! Get away from Lady Rhea! Oh my god, Bernadetta's coming in clutch Lady late game! Rhea, thank you for everything. Unfortunately, we, because this rod's so much shorter, we haven't really gotten to see Felix hit his stride, because, uh, just like with, um, Grappler, like what Casper is with Fierce Iron Fist, Sniper has a unique skill you get when you master it, which makes it be, like, an actual argument between it and the Bow Knight, but because of this, there's not as much of a reason anymore. Like, alright, let's get in there, boys! Wish to hurt and betray my mother and myself! I've got you! 
Put the plan into action. Track of the Immaculate One's attention. Oh, she's gonna be pissed if I attack her. <laughs> Gotta get Edelgard in there, cause she... She has a massive gambit and can be used multiple times. So it's true. You don't value human life at all. Isn't that right, Immaculate One? Nonsense. Fools who do not accept their own sins are undeserving of salvation. You humans are the ones who betrayed. You betrayed me, and you betrayed my mother. I did not betray you or her. I never believed in you from the beginning. We'll ensnare them with ease. We won't hold back! Attracted the Immaculate One's attention. 12 damage. Nothing bad. She has her aggro being pulled right now, so this is at least acceptable. Like, they won't just kill Caspar, you know? 14 times... Okay, 14... Okay, who does the least damage? That's 14 times 2, that's 24. You do... 9 times 3, that's 9, 18, 27. This would be 8, 16, 24, 32, so that's 32 damage. So 24, 32... Violet's gonna do a fuckload, so it's not even in question. Yeah. At minimum, 50. Or at most, 50. Those I can use Sublime Heaven, which I want to kill her with Sublime Heaven. It's, it's always so thematically appropriate. Okay, so 24, 32. Ooh, 20... 27, it's looking like? Yeah, it's 27. Oh, I gotta go fucking pee again. Don't do what I do, which is have a bit. Okay, to be fair, this one was less out of my control. I had someone bring me food. Here, we'll finish off this goddamn drag. I'll be fast. I'll finish off the dragon bitch when I get back. I won't be too long. Oh, sorry about this. All right, there we go. Okay, so what was I going on? Oh yeah, 20, uh, I think 24 is our lowest right now, because he can do 25, or 27. I think Lysithia does the least damage, which is uh, frankly hilarious. Could be, wait, no, I can actually look through her numbers. It's 24, it's 24 as well. 24 is our lowest. Alright, Petra. Go Petra would also do very little damage. Eleven. Oh, twenty-two. She can at most do twenty-two. 
thinking it'd be her. Yes. Of everyone here, Petra does the least damage. Actually, on that note, if, if that's the case, then I can have her use her bow to free up space. That's one down. She has Death Blow now. Death Blow, Magic Bind, Wrath. Magic Bind, so... Okay, so I can't use magic, and then she so gains a shitload of she gains a shitload of crit when near death. Very low accuracy at the very least. I almost want to do Fear Sign Fist, 7, 14, 21, but there's crit chance, but I'd rather do 6, 12, 18, 24. It's actually lesser in damage because she's, you know, the next stage, but... I'm using the training gauntlets, why am I stupid? I got the crit, though! We made it back! We ran up the damage, a difference. The difference in damage. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie, I'm a bit of a stupid whoopid. Twenty-three... Yes. And who knew having your entire army beat on one dude for like five minutes straight would just kill him before they get a chance to counter to have any kind of counterplay? Hmm, I wonder who could have foreseen such a thing. Right. One more after this, but then I'm gonna kill her next turn, so. 25 times 2. A raw 50 damage plus crit chance. I could just do also no damage. Again with these crits, what did I say? You guys didn't believe. <laughs> Every time it crits. Oh shit, I'm lying. He actually didn't crit for once. I was genuinely about to say, if he crits twice, people are gonna start accusing me of some shady shit. <laughs> I'll use this power for the oh, 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 oh. He could have got the only thing more he could have gotten out of that level is HP. I don't know if you can level up movement in this game. You can in some of the others, but it's ungodly rare. He's the fucking training act still. Alright. Let's end this. Now she has obscene crit chance. Oh fuck, they're coming. Gilbert, Ash, they're all coming. We gotta end this uh, now. Never hesitate. Attracted the Immaculate One's attention. She really can't do much, can she? <laughs> but, gotta do Chip, that's all we need! Do as much as you can. It's only 12 damage, she's only got 100 HP. Uh, at least remaining, you know? So that was 10% of her max HP? Of her remaining HP? Got this.
And that's the game. Welcome to Fire Emblem. Three houses, you son of a dragon bitch. Please crit. Aww. We used our one crit for the day. <laughs> it was a little unclimactic, but... Ah, there it is! That's another storyline down. No, so maybe that's the end of the game. When humanity stands strong, and people reach out for each other, there's no need for gods. Rhea, your reign of tyranny is over. <clears throat> the time has come. I didn't use a mirror that whole fight! I forgot she has a... Is it... is it over? <laughs> Oh my god, best timeline, we are fixed! Holy shit, what the fuck did Rhea implant on us? Rhea, what did you do to Byleth? A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodrin. With the fall of Ferdiad, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Church of Seros both vanished into the people's memories. Fodlin was finally one unified nation, under the rule of Emperor Edelgard and the Adrestian Empire. Embracing her newfound power, Edelgard could at last set about destroying Fodlin's entrenched system of nobility and rebuild a world free from the tyranny of crests and status. Yet, beneath the surface, an unseen and silent struggle began to take shape. From her seat of power, Edelgard could at last wage war on those who slither in the dark. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> This is what we were waiting for. <laughs> this is the real ending. Utterly boring. These kills are worth less than nothing to me. Are you done? Let's move on already. The war has ended, and yet this incessant swatting at flies never ceases. I have yet to claim my moments to kill you, it would seem. 
or will I? The clash of spirits fighting for their lives. Battle is the one thing that puts blood in my veins. Funny, is it not? That we should fight toward the same end, only to vanquish one another in time. I do not quite know how to articulate these curious feelings. I think it could be described as... contentment? Perhaps it stems from discovering such a creature as you. All this time, I had determined it was the Death Knight who was drawn to you. Yet, fighting alongside you, I have come to realize that you are the only being who truly means anything to me. Once we exterminate the rats lurking below ground, and all of this madness is settled, once that finally happens, all of this will long be forgotten, and we shall indulge in the finer things, together. Indeed. I abandoned all that I am. My true name, whatever remnants were left of my past. But now, with the chance to fight you, it is my only reason for existing. I finally understand. It is you alone who can slay the demon that lives inside of me. The Death Knight. This strange feeling rising up within me. Is this what is called... love? That... pleases me. Let us away, then, beyond these shadows that we have dwelt in for so long. To the very depths of hell, I will tumble down. <sighs> <laughs> Best waifu. Clearly, everyone is wrong. We have the definitive, and we found him. There he is. <laughs> ah, finally, the proper capstone to a true playthrough of the Red Boys. <laughs> Oh, I could not have wished for any better of a send-off. Now that is the final nugget of fun we have for this pile of gold! <laughs> oh, look at Hubert coming in clutch. Oh. Lysithia, um... Was the MVP of the final one? Oh, I guess... The one before, but you know. Ooh! Oh, this is a real good one. Though Linhard researched vigorously for a method to which remove quests from Lysithia and save her life, the war ended before he could reach any conclusions. Lysithia, deciding she would return home to her parents, thanked Linhard and took her leave of Garrick Mach. Not to be deterred, Lindhart set his affairs in order, renounced his noble title, and followed Lysithia to Ordalia territory to continue his research. Years later, his efforts bore fruit, and Lysithia's crests were successfully removed. With a new future ahead of her, Lysithia too renounced her noble claim, and a couple married as commoners. It is says they raised a very happy family. Yeah! Even after the war's end, skirmishes continued to break out across Bodlin. Bored and restless in his capacity as Duke for all areas, Felix abandoned his title, jumping the opportunity to wield a sword again. Little is known of his whereabouts thereafter, but after many years later, soldiers continued to whisper rumors of a mysterious man, able to deal swift death to scores of enemies. In recognition of his achievements during the war, Caspar was given the title of Minister of Military Affairs in the new Adrestian Empire. Though his command developed a reputation for occasional recklessness, he proved an able leader, guiding his troops to overcome countless obstacles. Long after his career had ended, his tales of the glory and good cheer that he brought to his army endured. Nice. I hate how fast this goes. Oh, that's a fucking weird one, but you know what? Good. After the war, the Middle Frank Opera Company made a resurgence. In no small part, thanks to the patrons of Emperor Edelgard's confidant Hubert. 
Dorothea made a comeback as a songstress within the troop, which traveled all over Fordlin, putting a large share of its profits towards relief efforts. The opera company was warmly welcomed by the war-weary people as a source of solace and became even more famous than before. It was not discovered until many years later that the troops' tour had been a covert operation coordinated by Hubert and Dorothea to gather intelligence for the Empire. Ooh. After officially becoming Duke Agar, uh, Ferdinand and Emperor Edelgard, and she, she would make him a Minister of Foreign Affairs rather than her Prime Minister. She granted his wish, and his first task in new position was to negotiate with Petra, who inherited the throne of Bridget and declared her kingdom's freedom from Imperial vassalage. Ferdinand and Petra collaborated to deepen the friendship between their nations and forge a strong, enduring alliance. As a symbol of the nation's friendship, Ferdinand and Petra took up residence together in Neuville, on the western fringe of Vaudelin. It is said that they negotiated for years to achieve this compromise. Nice. Oh, this is, what the what the fuck? Oh, god damn it! When Bern Bernadetta inherited House Varley from her father, she tried to withdraw from politics and refrain from the bound refrain within the bounds of her territory. But Edelgard, the new addressing empire, would not allow it. Instead, she demanded that Bernadetta counsel her in governing Fodland. It is said that the emperor made this choice to keep herself from being too detached, and that Bernadetta was all too happy to provide a more emotional perspective now and again. The people of Enbar could always tell when the two were meeting by the sound of Bernadetta's panic voice ringing out. <laughs> Except the wings of a hegemon. Ooh. After the War of Fodlin, Byleth and Yuritza threw themselves fully into Emperor Edelgard's struggle against those who slither in the dark. Though the battle proved vic vicious, none could stand against the combined might of the Shining Sword and Reaper's Sight. The pair became a venerated by heroes of history of Adrestia. Once those who slither in the dark were forever vanquished, the two heroes stole away in secret and vanished without a trace. Their whereabouts thereafter have been a subject of much conjecture among historians. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's your boy. I picked the good ending, baby. Yeah. I'm astounded how well that ended for everyone. But then again, you probably got to have a happy ending. And I mean, Edelgard did get what she wanted. She abolished the nobility, the desire for crests, and at the very least, because it's not directly confirmed, dealt a very grievous foes, a uh, grievous wound to the foes of those who slither in the dark, so generally she was actually successful. She ended the reign of the church and a false god in Rhea. She abolished the entirety of the nobility and the ability to stamp down other people just based on a bloodline and removed all the value in crests. Unironically, she was right. She actually did get what she wanted, and it worked. But immediately the question becomes, she was right, but was it worth it? Who knows? That's a good, that's the big boy question, because we killed a lot of people. Palcor now is not the time for this. We're at the end credits. Now is not the time for Discord shit, Sword. Don't you like fire emblem of Palcor? Okay, that that would get you. I will get you a lot of time in jail before your head came off. <laughs> This was a war, my man, between three countries. That's a large... That's, that's a lot of blood on your hands. You know it's a bad time when I haven't touched the control for so long that things started going into dim mode. Uh, yeah, I didn't max out your friendship, but I did max out friendship and decide to romance the actual psychopath who is a confirmed serial killer who's only being reined in because they can direct his bloodlust to other people. I decided to romance that, and you know what? Unironically a fantastic ending, and I'm genuinely a fan. It's not even a meme. I really liked the Yuritsa ending. Acceptable answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's amazing that in both Dimitri and Edelgard's routes, they're both kind of right in what they do. They're both seen as, well, and again, that's, of course, that's how it is. Victor is written by history, the one who was right. But in both routes, everything ends up okay. But in Edelgard's, the nobility and Crest's value is greatly diminished, whereas Dimitri just kind of stamps him down, you know? Because Dimitri retains the status quo, and Edelgard upsets the status quo. It's really, to boil it down to the absolute most extreme regards, that's really what it is at the end of the day. Down to brass tacks, that's, that's all it was. It's a very standard hero thing. That would be another acceptable ending. I'm... <laughs> if I remember correctly, actually, that was actually the case in one of the Fire Emblem games. Because in each of the Fire Emblem games, they give you an epilogue for all the characters. One of the characters in one of the games, if I remember correctly, it's like after the war, he goes on and just becomes a drunkard and just kind of drinks his life away and dies at a young age. And they just kind of do him the dirtiest possible. I don't remember the specifics, but... One dude just becomes this, just some fucking shambling homeless man, <laughs> and just dies. Maybe he doesn't die early, but he dies alone. No, I think that's what it is. He becomes like a drunkard, a nobody, and dies alone. It's just like, <laughs> well, I have used this man through my whole game. I have grown to love him. He's carried me through this war. <laughs> he dies alone, Lamau. Also, please punch me in the face for saying Lamau out loud. Alright, I am... I am done with the fucking end credits. I am done with that shit. If you want to save clear game data, yes. Popcorn, you've ruined all the dramatic tension I've built up from fucking the ending of the game. It took me 134 hours to do two different fucking playthroughs, and I got my own playthrough, and it's 149! I have my own playthrough on the side. <laughs> well, that was fun. I guess whenever we come back to this, it'll be Yellow Boys. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, Ninja wanted to do the thing with Randomizer and do the other out, but I kind of want to do Yellow Boys first, I'm not sure. Either way. <sighs> that was Fire Emblem Three Houses Black Eagle Route. I hope you all have enjoyed, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and...